So your mini chat subscriber has gotten stuck in a message because it stopped in the middle of a quiz or a middle of a message. Button doesn't work. How do you get them back on track? Well, I'm going to show you how to use a mini chat live chat to do that. And I'm going to show you that now. All right. Let's get this party started. So today we're going to talk about uh, live chat and some of the changes that MiniChat has made to make it easier to get people back on track. And because it happens, you know, messenger burps, farts, whatever, and all of a sudden your flow just stops. There could be many, many, many reasons why you need to get somebody back on track. So one of the ways is to go to live chat and make sure that, you know, that your subscribers are getting what they're supposed to get. And if you notice that somehow, you know, you have a three question quiz and they got the first question and they answered it and the second question didn't come up. Uh, the other day I had one where a flow was runs fine. Uh, it came to the uh, end of a message where there's three buttons, two, two, two or three buttons. And the subscriber pushed one of the buttons, nothing happened. It didn't send the next message. So what do you do in those? You know, you need to get them back on track. And in the past, we've had to figure out and put it into a sequence and then uh, subscribe to a sequence to get them to fire off the next flow. Well, MiniChat has made some changes that makes all this a lot easier. So a couple of things we're going to do is I'm going to move myself out here. We're going to go to live chat. And I have an open conversation. And then I'm going to go over here to settings and go to live chat. So we're basically going to concentrate on live chat. So there's a couple of things. One is in the settings here is this new snippet. And basically it says save responses so you can send them in live chat. Also, you can send a client to any flow. And so we're going to look at both. And so what you want to do here is you want to create a snippet. And a snippet's going to be, I'm going to say, I'm going to say hello. And here I'm going to say hello. First name. Oh, I guess it's not bringing it up. Huh, interesting. I have to do it this way. The double squiggly in the message didn't bring it up. So, hello, Jeff. Welcome to my page. Something really basic. But what, it, what you can do here is you're going to create, as it's called, snippets that you can fire off with a short code. And so, if there's things that you regularly do, you know, you want to message people at certain times. Uh, maybe it's just just repetitive things that you're going to go message people one on one, you know, create a start a conversation. Because, I mean, you have live chat and messenger marketing or basically now chat marketing is a one to one communication. So you can go in the live chat and just start chatting with people, have a conversation with them. You're jumping in and the bot isn't doing anything. You're doing it. But anyway, we're going to create this snippet. So we have that there. And now I have an open conversation here uh, for me. And so I'm just going to click it. And then you're going to see the conversation. Well, what the great thing is, is now is these are the couple things here. I mean, obviously, you can send an emoji. You can send an image. You can send a file. So now you have two things. Remember, we just created that snippet over here called hello. And so I just all I have to do is click on this and send it because I just put it in there. So if you, if you saw that, it puts the text right in there and then you can send. So it saves you some typing. That's a great way to store anything that you kind of want to just send out. Um, Kind of lack of ideas, but 
<laughs> you know, it's just, just common things that you would do. All right. And the second thing is I talked about where you have a quiz and you have three questions and you stopped after the first question. Or in my case, where I had, um, let's say this is something like this, and it was sent to a person with a picture and buttons. They pushed the one button and nothing happened. So they got stuck. And there was probably two thirds of the flow is still to go yet. And so how do you get them back? So it's gonna be a pet peeve of mine here <laughs> that you do not build these monster, monster flows. You know, things that go forever. You can't do that and expect to be able to bring somebody back in. And I can guarantee you, you're going to have flows that bust, you know, a message that doesn't finish. And you're going to have to get somebody back on track. All right. So here's a quiz. It was a timed quiz. It was actually an award-winning uh, template. And many chats got that up there during their contest. If you notice, I broke them down into separate flows. You know, question one, question two, question three, question four, question five. That is my suggestion. Uh, being a developer for over 20 plus, 25 plus years, almost 30 now, <laughs> uh, you got you to gotta anticipate that things are going to break. Technology, things do. And you need to break these up. I've seen many flows and many people creating, they put all this in one big flow and then stops. And how are you going to get them back in? And now that mini chat has given us an opportunity to be able to do this. So here's, here's the quiz. And so we're going question one, two, three, four, five. And let's say I, it stopped at question two for whatever reason. And I need to get to question three. All right. So I'm in live chat. And I'm going to go right here, click on this. It says choose and send a flow to the user. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring up the flows. And I'm going to go into quiz. And I'm going to pick question three because it stopped at question two. I'm going to pick question three. And I'm going to send it. All right. So I don't, you don't see everything in live chat. You know, that's the one thing. I did send it. Now, let me go to... Um, messenger. So let's do this again. Jeff, are you ready for question four? Okay, let's just say I need question four. So I stopped at question three. And you're going to go to question four. All right. So I'm going to send that. And I'm going to go over here. And this way I'll be able to see it. So I, the, the quick reply is on. So taste the rainbow. Add is skills. All right. And so in live chat, you're not going to see, you don't see the, you don't see the um, quick replies in here. And that's why you didn't see it, but you see all this. So many chats given us a great way to get people back in, but <laughs> disclaimer, you have to break up your flows. All right. You can't do it with a huge monster octopus, <laughs> many tentacles type of flow. You're going to be stuck. And then it's going to be very hard to start them up. So break your flows up so that you can utilize this. Because I can guarantee you there's going to be times when you need it. All right. So we covered a couple of things that you can set up the snippets and have those as short codes. And they're going to show up in here like little bubbles. Or you can go out and actually send a flow. Send a flow to a user to get them back on track. Well, that concludes our video for today on how to use mini chat live chat. To get your mini chat subscriber back on track maybe the flow stopped maybe the button didn't work whatever it is you can use mini chat live chat to one send them a flow where they left off where they got stuck or you can use the new snippet feature in the settings under live chat you can set up snippets that are going to show up in live chat that you can just click and then send those messages so it's a great, great feature that MiniChat has put in there so you can keep that conversation going. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. 
And as always, like the video, share it across the world, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell so that you do get notification when a new video is uploaded. Down in the description, I have a great Facebook group, a link there, all like-minded people sharing things. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.